number four of the thousand dollar storage unit we've been going through over on our main channel so if you haven't seen those videos all of those links are down in the description as well as the playlist link to send you to all of them we brought home tons more boxes a few days ago so I have a lot to go through hopefully we can find some more hidden treasure as Jiva says fingers crossed Let's get right into it. All right, a little bit different angle for this first box, but I have two big boxes, one right here, one right under it to go through, and this is the best angle. So let's get into it. We have just an empty uh, plastic thing. Some more flippers. Was it this unit that we found flippers? Or did I already go through this box? I sure did. What a way to start off the video. I already went through this box. Okay, that first box we had actually gone through already. My bad. <laughs> So let's, what a great start. So here's the first box right here. Let's get it. Well, this was the box inside the bigger box. All right, set it down right here. We have some acrylic or oil paint, uh, acrylic, acrylic paint. And then we have, what is this? Something to put paint and mix it. And then this little thing is not sure you guys tell me what that is as with all these videos there's a lot of stuff that i am unsure of so if you guys know what it is if i say something wrong or i don't know what something is just put it down there in the comments for me i always appreciate that i learn a lot from you guys so appreciate that again uh this i can't get it open but it is looks like some markers like a marker set sorry for the reflection of the ring light but a marker set and then we have some uh, ultra draw like black ink right there and then this is a big thing of colored pencils which is nice a uh, stadler carrot aquarel <laughs> the names of this stuff uh, this is one of those little things that they get you to draw in art class <laughs> usually when you're just farting starting off I just said farting off that's again great start great start to this video <laughs> um this one right here is the compact set so let's see what is in here oh there we go a little literally compact set of paint and nothing else in there i think the only other thing in here is this thing eight greeting cards and envelopes and then just the cloth that I guess the owner used when she was painting, he or she was painting. Here in this one is a dry gesso mixture. Makes traditional painting ground for artist oil, acrylic, uh, gouache, and egg tempura colors. All right, so there's some in there. And then here's another one of the same thing. And then under it, we have white and green paint titanium white acrylic paint so that and then down here we have a sketchbook which has those like see-through papers or pages tracing pages which is like pretty much brand new in this we have some looks like some of the art that the owner did so uh, used pieces of uh, drawing paper here. Uh, nothing in there. And this, something about horses. And then lastly, I don't know, it just has like a bunch of holes in it. But it doesn't look like anything that I have seen. So maybe an abstract drawing. Over here, we have mini attachments for vacuum. And in this thing, let's open this up. We have, what do we have? Uh, a paint by number thing for horses, which is brand new. A couple cards that the owner drew. Again, a little canvas, a couple things the owner was working on. Same thing here. Um, some paperwork, some self-adhesive laminating sheets. The color wheel, artist color wheel. And another sketchbook back here. 
So nothing too interesting in there. And then we have a bunch of Avon boxes down here. By the way, on this side, this is just another like artist thing, maybe mixed paint and whatnot. And then these are just some things that the owner was working on. But we have one, two, three, four, five orange Avon boxes. And this one over here, which is a little different. Um, what is it though? Does it say anything? No. So let's see what this one is because it's different. And this styrofoam still. It is a lady on ice skates. Like a porcelain figure. That's cool. 2014 Mrs. Abley Ward Award. Mrs. Abley Award. So if you guys know the significance of that, let me know. I'm going to go ahead and put that back in here. And then let's see what these orange boxes are. Because I'm going to assume that all of these are probably the same. And it doesn't say anything on it, just like the other box did. Didn't. Let's see what's in here. We have another lady, but she's in like a spring dress. Still in the plastic. And this is 2012 Mrs. Abley Award, President's Club. Your outstanding service to customers follows in the footsteps of Avon's first representative, Mrs. P.F.E. Abley. Congratulations on your success. So I wonder if these are collectible in any way. Because it sounds like if you sold on Avon, then you got that if you did, you know, a good job. But I wonder if they have any kind of resale value. If you guys know, let me know down in the comments. But you have one, two, three, four, five of the 2012 and then one of the 2014 in this box. What do we have in this next box? We have a harmonica playing made easy book. Almost brand new. Nothing wrong with it. They have one of these filing things that just has recording studio, politics, art, uh, painting techniques. So maybe they use this for school. Maybe they're in like a just a complete arts school, but nothing really in there except for some notebooks. Same with this. It's just some music stuff. Um, ready, prepare, let's see, emergency supply kick, survival checklists. So nothing in there. And then we have this big, whew, big box of fondant. And I don't know if fondant has an expiration date. I would assume so because it's like a consumable and it has like calories and stuff like that. But I don't see any expiration date on here. Maybe it's on the silver packaging. Mm, not that I see. But that stuff's really, really hard. I guess because it's been out in the cold, which would make sense. Here is enameled cast iron round uh, that thing. I don't even want to pronounce that. Cocote. I probably butchered that. Is if I can get it open, I could see what it is. Uh, all right, so it looks like what is on the picture. It's a little pot, but it's a really heavy duty pot from Southern living and it said exclusively at Dillard's so it's a little pot with a lid and it looks like we have two of those in the box so we'll set these aside see what's in the rest of this box so here's the other one same thing because it's the same picture and then we have just this just the design shed thing which will go in the trash and then we have here is, it says a queen sheet set, but that is not what is in there. So let's open it and see what exactly is in here. Looks like some kitchen mitts, like some Italian kitchen mitts, some dish rags, and some um, like dish towels, and then a couple oven mitts, but it's all like a matching set, all has the same picture on there which is cool. Now the last few things we have down here are these storage, collapsible storage container bins. There's two brand new. These are like more rectangular ones. This is just a square one. So we have two rectangular ones. And then these were even smaller on the side, or not as much depth. And there's two of those. Actually, five of those. 
and then two more of the rectangular ones but a whole handful of these things it's brand new next one we have here it looks like a bunch of fabric on top but it is really heavy and i doubt that it is all fabric in here so maybe there's stuff under here um some cool looking fabric here some bright color we have some thanksgiving some flower some hawaiian some red pink this navigation thing <laughs> some quick crete commercial grid i'm pretty sure this is the tub that people said to look in because it might have something <laughs> but we thought it was steel that's why we didn't go in it let's see nope that's concrete all right <laughs> and it's just a clot that's right in my face <laughs> that's concrete nothing in there and then we have a bunch of fabric a bunch more fabric and I am feeling in all of these and making sure that nothing's wrapped up in it. Um, yep, nothing in there. So literally just tons of different pieces of fabric. So we're gonna switch up from the boxes for a second. And I don't know if you guys remember, but this was a hidden bag of change that we actually found on the main channel. And I know we didn't, we didn't count it at all. So let's see how much change we have here. So we have a couple uh, half dollars, I think. Yeah. So here's one dollar, two dollars. This is gonna take me a second. Three dollars, four, thirty-seven, ninety-eight, ninety-nine, a dollar, six, thirty-seven, thirty-eight, thirty-nine. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and thirty-nine cents. Six dollars and thirty-nine cents. Add to the total of I think 27 something 2700 in the safe plus the thousand and half dollars plus six more dollars now we have this filing thing which is kind of broken because the lid's not even uh, on it but you know before we get into it which I see a lot of new stuff so I can't wait to go through it before we get into it though if you haven't already please leave it a like share if you can and subscribe if you are new because we will have multiple deep searches left of this i don't know why i just opened that <laughs> left of this unit and if you want to see them make sure you hit the subscribe button hit the little bell too i feel like i never say that if you hit the little bell you get all the notifications for any time we put out a video so let's get into this we have some receipts in here grill and chill i thought this was going to be a gift card but it's not it's supposed to be like for hotel cards um some more hotel cards but i know people also said that people keep like cash um in the hotel card things so i'm gonna end up opening up most of these making sure in between the receipts we don't find no money any of these folded up wads of receipts uh, nothing in there brand new mask uh city card which is not a gift card in here a courtyard by marriott card and yeah that's it nothing in that bag unfortunately here we have a heavy jacket zipper another one of these things which is a fabric cut sequin this right here is tool gold tool another thing of tool page markers new what's in here a a navy shot glass which is cool brand new pins super multi-purpose adhesive brand new this is a first aid kit which seems pretty full seems brand new it is actually zip tied so it might be completely brand new a thing of envelopes another black heavy duty zip zipper uh, self-seal laminating pouches some card protectors, display pocket, uh, thingamajigs, display pocket. Oh, and you can mount them too. Have some mouse strips in there. And the last thing, aside from all the glitter in the bottom of this, is a mini desktop printing calculator. This box right here has a little bit of damage right there. Not sure what spilled, but it doesn't spill bad. So we're just gonna go on in. Right off the bat, we have Pick your own Western Mail and you pick farms, just paperwork. All right. In this bag, stay open. There we go. In this bag, we have some towels. I don't know why they're in a bag. And some washcloth. There's literally nothing wrapped up inside. 
a squished whatever you want to put in here storage container this is a gunmate hip holster I remember finding this unfortunately no gun yet that's what we're hoping that we'll find one in there but that and then this just has some makeup in it a little black bag has nothing and yeah just a couple looks like brand new though a couple natural makeup things and these are for like snap on buttons to sew on here's an eye thing for sleeping what is it called eye mask a lot of these things these light switches i'm pretty sure at dollar tree a bottle or just a cup another wall switch switch sheet grippers hold and place whole bed sheets in place okay um some trash bags a brand new scissors down here utility scissors like a little crowbar is that what this is a little crowbar a poncho some candles whatever this is okay i remember finding this on the main channel but i don't know what this is or what it is used for it is a cone wedge trooper number four that's what the bottom says and it has some good weight to it so if you guys can let me know what that is used for that'd be great some toothpaste um some elastic things in here i don't really know what that's used for what are these N a knife sharpener that'd be useful a metal key clip a magnifying glass these are some t-post clips again not sure what those are used for um, some cough medicine, nighttime sleep aids, some more of those clips, um, some candles like I said, and other than that, just a few bottles of this Pantene Daily Moisture Renewal. Okay, this next box says upstairs, but it also says books, but it's definitely not books because it's not that heavy. All right, so we have a cool little Nike hat, uh, some knee pads. Do y'all have anything in it? No, nope, just knee pads. Good knee pads though. The uh, EOS Rebel T6i, is this the camera that we found? This says something, some kind of kit here. There's some numbers down here and it says kit next to it. Let me see, it's all empty. Oh, there's the picture. So this is the box for that camera that we found, which is a very, very nice camera by the way. Uh, this was for a lens, so I'm going to set that aside. And we found some fireworks. Confetti cannon. Oh, not fireworks. Or fireworks. No, nope. hold the tube firmly and twist the bottom clockwise. So great for weddings, birthdays, graduations, and parties. But it says TNT on it. Is that just a brand? I don't know. But that's cool. And then at the bottom, we just have a couple of books here. Um anatomy and physiology and then something about the olympics all right so since we just found the canon rebel box and the lens box i wanted to show you guys this canon camera that we got so it is the one that fits the box but there's also a lot of accessories in here and i just wanted to show you guys what was all in here because i'm going to go through all the pockets and show you what's in here let me take out these dirty gloves first buy dirty gloves <sighs> now my hands can breathe all right, so we have a high quality dust cleaner. Here is a card reader and writer for SIM cards and whatnot. Here is probably, it looks like it goes to some kind of stand um, cause you probably screw the camera in right here and you can move back and forth, but I don't know what this attaches to exactly. You camera people will definitely let me know if you can. Uh, no pocket in the back. There is one on the side, however. So in here, we have a lot of AA batteries. So something in this bag it took some AA batteries. And then, well this is a little weird. We have a, in a plastic bag, a paper towel wrapped up. So we'll open that in a second. And then this was the actual tag for the bag. They saved the tag, but cool. This is a very nice bag, by the way. I wonder what this costs. Um, if you guys could look it up for me, here's, it says digital gadget bag and there's the UPC at the bottom. So maybe pause the video and you guys can tell me. So before I get into the main compartment, let's see 
what is in here. What could be in here in a camera bag? In a little baggie. Uh, so it's honestly just napkins. So maybe to clean, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> I feel like I have to have a reason for everything, but this I have, I literally have no clue what to say. Anyway, let's move on to the main part. Look, the front of it even has like metal like fasteners here. That's awesome, awesome camera bag. So even before I get into the main part up here, there's a, a pocket right here that I didn't even see. Let's see what's in here. So I have a lens cap holder. Here are, oh, this is a wire, probably a transfer wire. This thing, what does this do? So it has a brush that comes out of this end and then, uh, I don't really know what that is. It's like, it has like a little felt thing, maybe to clean, clean the lens, maybe. And then this is just to brush off debris, probably. Huh, I've never seen that. And then in here we have, it has a button. Let's see, what is this? Universal wireless remote control. So that's cool. Maybe to um, set the camera somewhere and like use the flash or something like that. Cool. Nothing in there, nothing in there. Here's the registration. Um, and then a solution disc. So we'll just leave those there. Now into the main compartment. Let's see what we got. And again, you camera people, if you know the value of this stuff, <laughs> Put it down in the comments for me. Cause I'm pretty sure this is some high value stuff here. So here's the first lens. It is a Canon lens, um, 75 by 300 mm and 1.5 M. So I guess it's 4.9 feet is what it says. And there's a number written on here. It says 544-130-6665. So maybe that's like a model number or something for it. So the back, super clean. It even has the cover right here, autofocus and manual focus switch right here. And then the actual lens, super clean. And it has a lens cap. So pretty complete there. Very, very nice lens. Set that over here. Then we have a digital camera and camcorder accessory kit. So this has like some, it has a dust blower brush, bottled lens solution, non-abrasive cleaning cloth, 25 pack lens tissues, and five cotton swabs to clean your camera. Then in here, we just have two like lens caps. And in here we have a flash, which I'm assuming is what takes the batteries. And then down here we have a filter kit, three piece filter, um, includes ultraviolet UV, Circular polarizer CPL fluorescent FLD in a filter case. So it has a little case in here, and then it has all those lenses in there for filming. Cool. And what's in these? So I have actually two black bags. They look the same. Let's see if it's the same thing in here. So some kind of lens, but it says Ultimax on the front. Uh, let's see, what does this twist out to? Just maybe this connects to the lens, like in the front. I don't know. It says M58 on the inside of that cap. Let's put that back on here. It says macro on the side. And then when you open this, it's just the lens. Um, it says Ultimax Studio Series HD 0.43X autofocus wide angle lens at 58 millimeter Japan optics. So what what is this used for when it's put? I'm assuming it'll screw onto the front of the lens. Like what is it used for exactly? Or is this screwed straight onto the camera where the lens would be? Either one, maybe it does both, I don't know. You guys let me know. But that one goes in there and then let's see if it's the same thing in here. It looks to be but it looks a little thicker than the other one. So 
This one's Ultimax as well. The lens is a little bit more dirty on this one. But it says Ultimax Studio Series HD 2.2X autofocus telephoto lens 58mm in Japan optics. So like I said, a little bit thicker than the other one. But uh, let me know prices on this stuff. We are down to the actual camera itself. So let's check this out. So right here, let's start with the lens that's on it. So let's take this lens off. So we have a Canon lens. It is. It has an autofocus and manual focus slider on it. You can also turn the stabilizer on and off on the side. Uh, lens is really clean. Canon zoom lens EF-S, 58 millimeters, um, 18 to 55 millimeters. Image stabilizer, macro 0.8 0 .8, 0 .8 feet. Okay, so there's a lens right there. Make sure that doesn't roll anywhere. And then we have the camera itself, which is really, really nice. Um, we turned it on earlier and it didn't even, like we had to charge the battery for one, which we do have the battery and the charger, that's just inside. Um, but we, when we opened it, it started at the date and the time. <laughs> so it was literally brand new. Um, there wasn't even a SIM card in it, which was awesome. And this is a Canon DS126571 and it's EOS Rebel T6i. So I believe that this camera was about three or four hundred dollars if I remember what Jeebus told me. Um, yeah, three or four hundred dollars. So just the camera itself, three or four hundred dollars, plus we have this lens this bigger lens right here and then these two lenses i'm assuming they're kind of lens uh so we have a complete like really really expensive setup here this box right here doesn't look like it has much in it but i see a few brand new things so let's show it more detail these are a pair of shoes that say clark's artisan on it and there's a little spider which has to go uh size eight so I guess it's just Clark's brand. It's just a pair of high heels, which look pretty brand new based on the bottom there. But yeah, size eight leather, tempt appeal, Clark's high heels. I'll set those aside. Then we have a brand new set of flippers. I like to call them flippers, but they're, what are they technically called? Uh, fins, they're flippers. And then we have a egg cooker easy store electric egg cooker by presto we have tons of these these are picture hangers brand new and then these which has anchor away and i'm not sure what they're used for so i guess what do you just like twist it in the ground and then just attach stuff to it or does it have a more specific purpose than that again let me know down in the comments well, that's going to be it for this video, guys, but I do want to tell you a couple of things. So, as you know, Mama Jeebus runs our Poshmark account. Um, she it had listed a lot of different things on there. Most of the Adidas shoes that came out of a unit a while back. Some of the Avon toiletry cases, the Avon foldable backpacks, and a few other things. I think even a couple appliances. So, check out our Poshmark link. It is in the description. And I believe if you're new to Poshmark, if you sign up with code Jeebus Treasures, you get $10 off your first purchase. If you guys are interested in any of that stuff, check out our Poshmark page. Again, the link is in the description. Second thing that I want to say is as you've heard on the main channel, we are having a yard sale on January 22nd. We are monitoring the weather closely because it is snowing right now and raining and they were calling for snow on Saturday, which was unfortunate, but we are going to let everyone know um, by Wednesday, Thursday at the latest if we are still going to have that. So if you guys are interested in attending the yard sale and being put on our email list for the yard sale, I'm gonna put the email address right here. Just email us and we will put you on the yard sale list to be updated. So that's it for this one. We have plenty more boxes to go through, plus a lot more on the unit. So we have plenty of more deep search videos to follow this one. So can't wait to see you guys next time. Have fun, laugh more, peace out.